Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio with cult news. As he, well, does something incredibly stupid that's probably going to get him prosecuted. Well, let's hope that happens so that way one of these uh, idiots learns their lesson about well treating other people with respect at the very least. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today we are in downtown Columbus, Ohio. You got uh you got the uh capital over here. Now this video is nearly an hour long. Most of it is just him standing in front of the door to this bank up until uh, he gets the confrontation he needs. And, uh, well, the police end up showing up because, well, he decides to bring out a taser at some point. Oh boy, what an incompetent buffoon you are. But of course, we're not going to watch the whole dang video. I'm just going to point out the stupid crap that he does and then move on because, well, he just screwed himself over on this one. So let's go ahead and fast forward through this BS. A little longer than a few minutes later. No complaints. What's that? Let's make sure you're not taking pictures because it's the bank right there. Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely taking pictures of the bank. In fact, I'm actually zooming in on her cell phone. She's got that open there. And yeah, yeah. No, I'm taking pictures and video of the bank. Zooming in big time. Big time. Ah, stop. Come on, it's a bank. What am I going to see? What am I going to see? Well, dude, it's not that it's uh, you can see anything in there. It's the fact that, well, you uh, appear to be some asshole who might be uh, casing the joint for it to be robbed later on. Haven't you ever heard of that kind of thing before, dipshit? I swear, it's as if these... Uh, Frauditors don't understand common sense things like that. I swear they were born without a brain. Well, you're not really supposed to report. Ah, uh, says who? Uh, okay, fair enough. I'll report it. I'll be right back. All right. Are yeah. you recording me? Absolutely, yeah. Zoomed in on your phone. It's spectacular. Yes, I got everything. Everything on your phone. It doesn't phone. matter. What do you mean? I agree. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. See the hat? See the hat? Hey, go f*** off. Okay? That's none of your business. F*** off. Leave me alone. I have every right no, to... No, you bothering me. I, no, you're no. You came out on the public sidewalk you're bothering me. me. Ma'am, I'm on a public sidewalk. And I'm in a bank. F*** off. I'm going to do that. You, you do that. Safe. You do that. You do that. Yeah, you know, there are other ways to make money on YouTube, jackass. You don't have to go around acting like this to do that. In fact, there are photographers, actual photographers, that make a shit ton more than any frauditor could ever hope for on YouTube, and they don't piss anybody off. All you got to do is... Do a little search for them, and you'll see people like that who will interact a lot better with their subjects than you do. And as a result, they don't have to spend nearly the amount in court costs when they have to go to trial every other day because they're a freaking stupidity. Yeah. Jesus. You got a lot of nerve coming out of public sidewalk telling me I can't videotape? I will defend myself. I will defend myself. You're 
Can't yeah, absolutely recording you. You can't record inside of a bank. Sir. Tell me the law that says I can't record inside of a bank. I'm out on a sidewalk. Absolutely, freaking lutely. 100% of it. Everything on the computer and her cell phone, by the way. Zoomed right on in. What are you going to do about it? Says who? Says who? I'm not worried about it. You're the ones that seem to be worried about it. We got you federally. You're just a federal crime, baby. Then call the police. A hundred dollars says they don't even bother showing up. Bring it on. Bring it on. Knock yourself out. Okay, so he just stands around here until the cops show up. And then when an officer does arrive, he does something so batshit insane that, well, it makes you want to question his intelligence. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many, many minutes later. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You dipshits, close the bank for a camera. Knock yourselves out. I'll come out here every day and just shut Fifth Third Bank down just by photographing on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's okay. Basically, he has a right listen, to photograph okay, on listen, the sidewalk. Listen, like, don't, don't, don't talk to him. Do, I can do, talk to do him. whatever I can. it is you want to do. Are you going to arrest listen, me if listen, I talk listen, to them? You You're done. I, I did not threaten you. You came in here aggressively and I said, yeah, did I? Did I? Is this a threat? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, uh, you are definitely the dumbest frauditor I have ever seen to pull out a taser in front of the officer. Congratulations, cult news. You have failed on such an epic level. You are a freaking total incompetent buffoon of a bird brain, dumbass freaking moron. What if that cop had, well... Put an end to you because he c couldn't identify what that was in time, you dipshit. Is this a threat? You come at me aggressively, you're going to get the taser. Listen, I'm I'm this. They're coming this at me aggressively, and I said, I'll defend myself. I will That's, just. I'm going to take that as menacing. I, I will just, arrest you. I said, I will defend myself. He's done it five times. He's I said, I will defend five. myself when you came out here aggressively at me. If you start sparking a taser at them, that will be menacing, and I will arrest you for that. I'll, they were very aggressive. I want to be very, very aggressive. Clear. Got it. I, right. understand, I understand. I will defend myself. Reasons. I want to make sure they know I will that's defend myself. I've dealt with you before. I know what you're up to. You try to invoke people to get mad, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. No, nope. I'm trying to. I'm trying to uh, exercise my First Amendment rights. That's okay. it. That's it. This is not exercising your First Amendment rights. You stand outside of a bank with a damn camera, a place that's liable to be robbed by some criminal scumbags, and you call that your First Amendment? No, dude. You are a freaking moron. There you go, dumbass. All right. My work here is done. Uh, uh, yeah, he's not quite done yet, considering the officer is about to catch what up with him, and, well, he's going to be charged for what he did, so hang around, dude, just hang around. Those folks are super aggressive. They came out at me on the sidewalk. They felt threatened because you pulled the taser out and sparked it, so they want to report, so I need your ID. I... <laughs> so what law have I broken then? I said they felt threatened because you pulled your you pulled your taser out and sparked it in front of me. That can be viewed as menacing, okay? It, it, they felt threatened. So like, the, I'm not going to argue the with law. you. you I, just want, I don't want to know what the law is. So you're saying it's menacing. So so you're saying I broke the law. You, I'm going to tell you right now. So you're writing me a ticket for you menacing. Need your ID. All right, uh, genius. Uh, here's the statute to uh, menacing right here for the Ohio Revised Code. Go look it up. And read it, you dipshit, because it may benefit you to learn it. So next time, you won't do this, if there is a next time. I'm asking you if I broke committed a crime. I'm ordering you to give me your ID, because I'm going to take a report, because they felt threatened because you sparked a taser at them. Now give me your ID right now. Okay, so the, I'm just asking. So I'm your, asking for clarification. Your Put your stuff down I'm, and give me your ID. I am asking. I'm losing my patience. Okay, you're losing. Listen, I'm, I'm going to put you in cuffs and I'm going to arrest you for filling ID. Okay, I asked what law I'm breaking. You're going to arrest me because I asked I'm for taking a report because, because you were menacing them so, with the paper. I'm going to so, take a report. So Stop. what? Put, your put that down. Okay, so what? Give me your ID. So what law did I? I don't have my ID on me. I don't carry an ID on me. What law did I break? What's your What's your information? What law did I break? Give me your name. I would like to know. You're not going to tell me I'm what law I broke. I'm telling you. I just said menacing. How many times I got to tell you so menacing? That's, so 
What that's, a, that's an offense, okay? What is he? I saw you spark the taser at him. You pulled a taser out and sparked it. That's menacing. With a police officer standing there. Yeah, with a police officer standing right there to witness your uh, crime, dude. You're even dumber than you look, and that's quite an accomplishment right there. So you did it before I got there, too. So dude, the, okay, oh, I'm, I'm done talking to you. I'm not asking any questions. Me, provide me your information now. Provide me your information right now. I'm going to arrest you for felon ID. So what do you want exactly? I'm going to take a report, yeah. and you're going to give me your uh, your information for yeah. it. Okay, I'll give you... And if you don't, uh, I'm uh, going to arrest okay, you and, and, so, and so I'm, I'm losing my patience, dude. I understand. I'm just asking you a clarification. But, but, okay, last time I'm Dude, I'm you. asking you, you for you, a clarification. You want to go on calls? I'm asking tell you... Tell me your information. You're going to tell it to me? I'm done talking. Mike Norton. Is that good enough for you? No, I want your social. I want your date of birth. I want I'm your address. I, want you. I have no okay. obligation to my social. All right. Date of birth, All right. address, and name. You do not need to get my social. Good. You want me to arrest you? We're not giving you my social security yeah, I want number? all your identifying information. Name, report. address, and date right, of birth. I'm done. Last chance. Is that, are you going through or no? So if I don't give you my social I, security number. I'm going to number, arrest you if you don't give me all your information. And my social security number. I'm done talking. I don't yes have my no. social security number memorized. Have it yeah, you do. Years. I'm not playing. Somehow I don't believe that because your social security number is... Uh, the key to a lot of things you need to get done here in the United States. If you don't have that thing memorized, you're pretty much screwed, dude. In fact, as far as memorizing it goes, I can recall back in high school when one of my teachers had the whole class memorize our social security numbers. And we had to know it by the next day or we would get a failing uh, grade for that day. And you know what? I memorized it, and I still know it to this day, of course, because, well, it is something essential to your life. This stupid game, I dude. have my name, my address, okay, my Okay, I, will, I will detain you and escort you back to my car, I so I probably, I don't care. Let's go. Let's go back to your car. You, you want to handcuff me and do that? How are we going to do this? Get your crap and let's what, go. What is the crime, crime you say? Menacing, which is the ORC is for what? Well, I can I arrest you for what menacing. What is the I can ORC? Slate, it's a slatable offense. What's the ORC okay, for that? I'm done talking to you about that. Let's well, go. then let's go. Walk. All right. All right, he's going to arrest me. Let's go. Get this on camera. I'm a journalist doing my job. They came out threatening me. Dude, I've, everywhere you go, I've dealt with you twice now. Yeah, this, yeah. This is your and home. I'm not breaking the law any either time. You just try to create these stupid interactions for your little YouTube, whatever yeah. it is. You know what? I don't make people act like fools. I am a camera, and whether they act like fools or not is their choice. You say you didn't break the law, dumbass. You pulled out that taser in front of the uh, officer and uh, activated it threatening the people inside with it that is definitely a crime right there menacing at the very least considering that they were the ones being intimidated by you dipshit and then he puts this little gem up here on the screen later on talking about how he has spent thousands of dollars on other cases because of, well, stuff that he's gotten himself into. Well, dude, uh, yeah, stop breaking the damn law. You claim you're not doing breaking the law, but why are you spending thousands of dollars on lawyers if you're not breaking the freaking law? Or even getting tied up in civil cases because of your BS. So, yeah, dude, this is all on you. You cause the reactions, uh, yeah, for clicks and views, and you know it. And that, and the officer has dealt with you plenty of times, and I'm sure there's a lot of all other officers that have dealt with you multiple times. So don't give everybody that bullshit. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?